would you rather have plan your Jamaica vacation itinerary, Ben or Vance? <laughs> I think Vance would know the cool underground spots. You overestimate my reach. I absolutely agree. Vance. Vance is going to get us behind those doors that we don't know about. He knows the cool spots that no one else knows about. <laughs> ben. <laughs> ben. Uh, no, Vance, because Vance got Vance has all the hookups. Oh, okay, that's a good point. That's true. Yeah, Vance. Yeah, but I think Vance might, you know, send you to a, a lot of security seminars. <laughs> I go with Vance. Yeah. I yeah, Vance. that's a tough one because they're so similar in a lot of ways. I think I might go with Ben. There may you may have a little more fun on your vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a little bit more room for fun there. Yeah. Right? yeah, Vance is even more a stickler about like. I know. I felt like I was very detailed with Vance. So you. Oh you know, yeah, but I feel like good. Ben is super detail oriented too. Well, yeah, previous true. Ben. Ben. Yeah, Ben, for ben. sure. Ben. Yeah, he, he knows how to vacation better than, than Vance, vacation. I think. Mm -hmm. Vance, Vance, I don't think he'd be too busy. He'd be too stressed to like. Yeah, you're gonna end up parachuting into Jamaica. Like, yeah. uh, you, you, you leave a cargo plane and like try mm -hmm. to get off radar. Uh, it, it's uh it's it's been for sure i'm looking for like that luxury resort i'm trying to get like like bougie yeah. with it that's been yeah. for sure i had a calling you're not safe with me you need to run who would you rather share a calling with angelina or adrian Ooh, angelina just because i want to know what the darkness feels like <sighs> you made the right decision wow that's a good question adrian maybe because you know, I don't know what's going on with that brother, really. He's on one side, and then he's on the other. I, I wouldn't know what's going on in his mind. Unbiasedly, I'm going to also say Angelina, because I think it would be really interesting for other people, like a third party, to see her calling, because she interprets them in such crazy ways that I think she could kind of use a witness to, like, bring yeah. her back down to earth and just be like, you completely got all that wrong, Angelina. Goodness. I mean, I'd say if, if I'm going to share a calling, how Jared has never had a calling before, I'd say Angelina, just because I feel like she gets in the nitty gritty of it all. You know, it's yeah. going to be heavy. It's going to be as heavy as it comes. Yeah, I feel like I would say Adrian because it's a little less less terrifying, probably. Yeah. A little less like totally bonkers. Wow. Angelina. Everything that happens to her is massive. I don't think it would be a boring calling. Yeah. <laughs> It would definitely be more terrifying, but it wouldn't be uh, boring. That's for sure. Yeah. Angelina. Angelina. Yeah. Just, for like, just for like the craziness of it, you know? Right? I feel like hers are radical. I want yeah. that biblical, like, prophesied. Like the, I, I want know. Like some crazy stuff that's, going on. Yeah, that's, that's wild. I think, yeah. I think she gets the craziest ones for sure. What about your other missing child? Who would you rather start a true crime podcast with? Olive or Sanvi? Olive, I think she definitely uh, has some gusto when she's explaining all the mythology. It represents enlightenment. So I feel like she'd really get into it. She's a pretty animated, uh, animated little being. One hundred percent, Olive, because you know she's she is her father's daughter, and she would dive deep. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm just going to say Olive because not only is this my character, but scientifically, yes, Sanvi is really good at like the science and that. But me, I'm like, I got Ben Stone blood in me, you know, I'm yeah. in there. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going to, I'll do whatever it takes to figure out this. <laughs> yes, <him>. exactly. <laughs> Olive is the like, uh, I will, the, I will hard hit it. She's going to drive. You're going to hear the episode of the podcast where she's driving to the killer's house. I'm like driving like, to the killer's house being like, hello. Yeah. Exactly, knock, knock, knock. exactly. Sambi is, is the guest. She's the expert you bring in for an She's the expert the you bring in, yeah. She's you know, the one she's that's like, like here's like, the, the info. The blood was blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. and the moon made him have a seizure or something. I, I, whatever. <clears throat> yes, I like that. That's, that's, that's science, right? Moons and seizures? I'm pretty sure. But uh, it's definitely Olive Stone. That's for sure. Yeah. I would pick Olive because I feel like she really becomes, oh man, that's tough though, because there's that's so much one. science involved. Yeah. There's so much science involved with true crime. Like if you're going to figure out this, I might pick Zombie. I was going to say Olive, but she's really into like the mythology. of it. There are two detectives on the show, but they have like different interests and specializations. 
Yeah. So I guess True Crime, I might do Sanvi. I'll do Sanvi too. Sanvi. Me, Sanvi. She's so dedicated and dogged. And, you know, she doesn't give up. And Parvini is actually like that in the real life. So it's very good casting. So. Yeah. And I think Sanvi would have good intel about like the stuff that you see in like criminal minds where it's like the body is like decayed this much by this period of time. So this person has to be the killer. Like she would have all of that stuff and be able to solve the murder before the podcast even does. <laughs> what do we do? Whatever we have to. Would you rather spend the last day before your death date with? Michaela or Zeke? Uh, well, I mean, Michaela for me, 100%. Oh, I have no room left to process it. I mean, Zeke is great and all, but. <laughs> how do I answer that one? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I got <definitely laughs> <be> Zeke. <laughs> 100% Zeke. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> how about both? Can't pick both? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd have to say Michaela, obviously. Jared would pick Michaela. I would say Zeke because you might survive it. Oh, uh, maybe Michaela, I think. I'm going to say Zekaela. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good answer. I'm going to say <laughs> Zeke because he has the empathy. And I think it'd be nice, maybe he could... I don't know, help like share like how I feel for other people through him like before we're gone forever. Mm. When words don't suffice, Zeke comes into play. Just the reason I, I say Michaela is because she has a way of helping you, you know, find what whatever is, you know, positive and going in that direction. And I also think that she would like just give you a really good hug when you really get scared. She's a good hugger. Who do you want to be with? Who would you rather sit between in the middle seat? Uh, Jared and Michaela or Ben and Eden? Ben and Eden. Yeah, I think I, I'm not, here's the thing. Um, it would be too much crazy energy with-, with Awkward chaos. sexual tension right in the middle of that. that I'd is, be like this, I'd be like, Oh, yeah, exactly. You don't want to touch any like, uh, uh, but Ben and Eden. That's 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 family. That's that's easy. like a fun like, little car ride. Uh, Eden's gonna cry though a lot. Like baby's a on lot. Phone is a tough vibe, right? But it's okay. Whatever. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Wow. I, I'd say Jared and Mick. I mean Ben and Eden. Uh, depending on 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 where Eden's at, I just I think it would be a little more peaceful. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'd say Jared and Mick. It'd be a better conversation. I, I would pick uh, Ben and Eden because you you wouldn't feel like a third wheel. But you'd be getting that, you know, father-daughter love and there'd be exciting kid stuff. Hopefully Eden be having a good flight. If she's not having a good flight, it wouldn't be so fun. Yeah, yeah that's where my mind went. And I've got kids. Go. I'm speaking from experience. Yeah. <laughs> ben and Eden. Ben and Eden. Uh, I'll say Jared and Michaela. How long is the flight? <laughs> ben and Eden because the, in, Eden is a kid and Ben is also a kid, you know? So That's why you only want to do that for about an hour flight. <laughs> no, I see. I'm a kid too, so I would enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this one's a hard one for us two to answer because obviously... It depends what season, Ben, we're talking about. If it's season four, I, then no way. I mean, what a drip to sit next to on a flight. I mean, no, I, I think... For me personally, it would be Ben and Eden because um, Eden is quirky. She's she's you know she's fun. Um, so is Ben. Ben Ben's fun too, but you know Eden's more fun. Yeah. <laughs> is this where we are gone? Who would you rather go karaoke with, Jared or Cal? Oh, definitely Cal. I'd be scared to see how Jared sings. So I I, th I think Cal has a little, would have a little more fun than Jared. Uh, I'd say Cal because we actually see Cal do some karaoke in season four. He's a pro. Cal Stone. I mean, it's your boy. It's obviously Cal. Um, it's obviously Cal Stone. Jared Vasquez does not know how to like, you know. No, he he's too cool. You Karaoke is inherently uncool. Jared is just like. Uh, it, he's too like, awesome. he's too I'm policeman. not saying he's bad. Karaoke is Texas. great. I love karaoke. But Cal is way more willing to look like a doofus than Jared is, I think. Completely agree. Cal. Cal, 100%. We've, we've heard JR. I know it's not the character, but we've heard JR sing, so it's it's hard to associate. 